Hey everybody, Happy New Year, and welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Trank 1, which is part of the Dark Space Outtakes map pack, which is a map pack consisting of three different maps, and with this map we are going to kick off 2021. This was sent in or recommended by Doom Noodle, so thank you very much for that. So even if the title of the map pack is called Outtakes, you, one might think that these maps are not necessarily that finished, or maybe they are left over, so maybe the quality is not that good. Um, when you look at this, that is definitely not the case. It is very detailed. Uh, the outset might be a little bit simple, because this is all a corridor-based, um, all indoors, sort of like Call of Duty, Quake, Doom-like with its setup, uh, but it works. There's actually a pretty detailed description on the outset of the maps of their philosophies behind it. For example, even though this is a corridor-based shotgun, yep, corridor-based map, the creator went out of his way to not actually make the map too big, so that the AI gets confused because, of course, the AI does have some trouble sometimes maneuvering through these narrow corridors and hallways, and by actually keeping it uh, compact. The AI is actually able... Oh, wow, look at that. It was Sakura. This is Sakura. I do I always think... Oh, kill my, kill my own guy here. Feel that hero units are a little bit overpowered in maps like this. But I do really like the aesthetic. The other two maps, which we will also talk about, there's apparently a map that it's more of a grass plane. Maybe something like this, how it's outside. However, it did say that that is the most unfinished map and that it's very clear that uh, more was intended for that. And then there's the other one, which is a cave map, which isn't really anything special, uh, but is also quite balanced and fun, it says. Few graphical glitches here, but nothing too bad. Again, I'm mostly impressed with like how detailed some of these rooms are, you know, having like little computers on them. That one room that has a, uh, you know, deconstructed R2 unit on there. It feels very cool, very much alive. I do also have to say that um, please don't do not be alarmed if in the coming days you will also see some videos, some Star Wars videos, not necessarily of Star Wars Battlefront. Um, me having watched the second season of The Mandalorian, um, I got so into like Star Wars that I'm like watching the Clone Wars now probably for the first time. Um, which uh, that's a long story. <laughs> I'll give you the gist of it right now. I, I, I tried to watch the Clone season, the Clone Wars season a long time ago, and I thought that the first season was just so childish and boring that I never got through it. And then I just watched a few of the cooler battles that people recommended, like Planning at Point Rain, the Battle of Umbara. But you do miss context if you don't watch the uh, earlier seasons and things, uh, especially some of the clones. You have no idea who they are. So I decided now to rewatch it again, and I got past the point where I stopped last time, which was the episode where R2-D2 gets kidnapped, which was just oh, it's such a boring episode to me because it's there's no suspense because you know uh, R2 is going to be fine because we know he's in the movies. Uh, most horrible thing was, though, that once I was done with that episode, there was an episode where Jar Jar is the main character and... Um, the droids think he's a Jedi, and that also, that episode is also just god-awful. Luckily though, the episode after that with Luminara Unduli and Ahsoka battling against Ventress is then actually one of the cooler episodes there. Uh, but I still have a long way to go. But yeah, basically because of that, I got so much into Star Wars, I'm doing all sorts of like cinematics for other channels, things with XCOM, um, but also uh, just feeling really much the uh, urge to also play some other Star Wars games. Um, and this would be the channel to share that with. So, I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm gonna play. Might be Republic Commando. Uh, I just wanna do some stuff with clones, I guess. Which is weird, because the Mandalorian obviously has nothing to do with that. I also actually bought the, uh, the Clone Wars game on, uh, on Steam, uh, which doesn't really work. And forgive me for not talking about this map a whole lot. But again, um, the simple outset of the map makes it to where there's not a whole lot to talk about. It's solid. Uh, it's good. Again, it's very detailed. It's very small. You've pretty much seen everything uh, there's to offer. I think it works fine. Um, in my honest opinion, I just, you know, having the hero units 
makes it actually a little bit less fun. Uh, I think the way you should play this is like an old school Call of Duty Doom like game. Uh, you know, having these um, corridor fast paced battles. But yeah, no, so uh, very much into like all sorts of Star Wars properties again. Oh. All thanks to The Mandalorian Season 2, because my god, people, what a good season that was. Oh god. I might also actually do upload the review, or my review of the second season on here. Um, I did a review already on the Kanoa Reviews channel of The Mandalorian Season 2, and what that will also give me, um, that'll give me some time to actually play some maps uh, and mods for Battlefront 2, uh, so that I can kind of, you know, create a backlog so that I can upload all of them, so that I don't have to worry about that. For example, after this video is done, I will immediately uh, play and review the next two maps that come with this, uh, with this map pack. That makes it just a little bit easier for me to, uh, to get the work done. The map only has Conquest. <clears throat> you can play both Rebels, um, or Galactic Civil War and Clone Wars. I do actually think it might be recommended with the Galactic Civil War. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna let Ayo Sakura slip a little bit. Since again, I'm going to create a little bit of a backlog or I'm going to be uh, playing a lot of Battlefront 2 over the next day. It's also the perfect time to again let me know some recommendations or uh, requests of maps or mods you would like to see on uh, the channel. <clears throat> there are still just a ton of maps and mods coming out for Battlefront 2. Really makes me happy. Got very positive vibes on the... Uh, the top maps of the year. Definitely want to do that again for 2021. Our reinforcements are being depleted. And all in all, I think that this uh, this is a very cool map. Uh, very nice. It's cool too to actually start 2021 with something positive. <laughs> I haven't actually checked out the other maps yet. I'm going to give a hunch and probably say that the cave one will be my least favorite. It all depends on how empty and unfinished that grass plain map feels. Keep going. Now I won't lie, I'm actually having a lot of fun as uh, Ayo Sakura um, battling through these halls, dominating the droids. But what I'm saying and what it makes it less fun is the balance, so I would be super frustrated if I were the battle droids right now. There are actually some pretty cool looking custom skins for some of the battle droids, which is interesting. <clears throat> I don't think that the uh, rebels have any anything like that. We are actually behind, look at that. Oh, it's because they have more spawn points than we do. I don't think the map will um, raise any eyebrows or you know, be considered super special, but it's also, uh, there's not a whole lot of flaws. You know, it does what it does. The only thing is that little, like, graphical glitch there, but other than that, it's perfectly playable with AI. Very fun, high paced, a lot of action. This room is actually kind of cool. Have a little bit of a view. It's simple, but it works. And again, um, most no noteworthy are some of the detailed usage of uh, props and assets in, control of a command post. in the different rooms. Keep it up. Look at that, though. No they, uh, they have mines, some of those like super narrow rooms, making it really difficult to actually capture those points. Very interesting. It also actually made me realize, now that again, I, I'm, I'm I wanted to play so many different Star Wars games at once, that it's, in, in a way, it's kind of a shame that EA ha holds the uh, Star Wars license because of how few Star Wars games come out. Now, mind you, in the time when, of course, LucasArts uh, did their games, 
Uh, there were a lot of Star Wars games that were very mediocre to also pretty bad. Um, but at least there were a lot and a lot of different ones. So there was always something um, that w was up your alley, where it was like a strategy game or an RPG or a racer or a space sim. There was always something. And now we have to wait like once every year or once every two years, if we're unlucky, for something new with Star Wars. I mean, out of all the companies, you would think it would be EA. That's all about quantity, and not quality. I know that the there has been a resurgence of that Django Fett game because of the Mandalorian. Uh, apparently, it's been getting good, like retro reviews and stuff. So I might want to let, take a look at it as well. But I very much remember that when that game came out, it got very mediocre reviews. It wasn't a crap game, but it was like a seven. Mm, yeah, shotgun. This is just the perfect shotgun map. There also is enough cover. You don't really see me make use usage of it, but it's tall enough to where it does its job. The enemy has taken a command post. The Republic can't spare any more reinforcements. Regular one. And yeah, look at this. It actually can be quite challenging, even though. We kill a lot of droids. They are actually still winning. Yeah, rather than actually capturing that point, I'm just gonna join my clone brothers and hopefully destroy some of the clankers. If you actually want me to uh, do a review of the Clone Wars, of like Season 1, after that Season 2, uh, let me know also in the comments down below. I might do that. I'm not far into the Clone Wars. I'm like at Episode 10 or something with the Clone Wars Season 1, so I still have a long way to go. I'm doing maybe two episodes per day, because again, the Season 1 doesn't go very fast. I basically watch it during breakfast. Oh, there we go. Anyway, guys, if you want to download this map, you can find the link in the description down below. Don't forget to let me know any recommendations or requests on maps or mods you want to see. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.